Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to crochet this beautiful cute little bag here. I love it so much. And I have free written pattern, it's available on our blog at knitcrawaddict.com and if you prefer the PDF printable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry and Lovecraft. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And let's talk about this bag a little bit here. This bag, we're gonna start from the bottom up. We're gonna crochet in round, okay? And then the strap is added later. And if you like to make a shorter or longer strap, it's very easy to make and I will show you how can you do that. The circumference of this bag is about 21 inches. Circumference and then 10 inches tall, all right? Here's what it looks like inside. And I'm not gonna make a lining for my bag because I think it don't need to for this bag. And if you prefer to make a lining for your bag, I also have step-by-step -step video tutorial for that. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. And yeah, I think I got everything here and let's get started. Here is the materials that I use for this project. For this project, I used this beautiful macaroni macrame rope. This is number 2mm, 100% recycled cotton, and this one in color vison. And I used two skin of this yarn, and I still have a little bit left, okay? So in each skin, it has about 250 gram, 85 to 90 meter. It is about 92 to 98 yards. So yeah, two skin, I still have a little bit left. And I think you can substitute to weight five bulky yarn as well if you cannot find this kind of rope. And you can find this rope at Perfect Yarn on Etsy. I'm gonna put the link in the description below. Crochet hook, size six millimeter, stitch marker, yarn needle, and scissors. Okay, we're gonna start with a magic ring. And you can use any method you prefer to make a magic ring. Here's what I like to do. I twist the yarn like this. The short tail is on top and then I hold it right here. Sorry, I pinch it right here. Create a loop and then I insert the hook into that loop. Yarn over hook, two over loop and chain one. The chain one doesn't count at a stitch. It's the part of a magic ring. And now we're gonna make eight single crochet into this ring space. So I insert the hook into this ring space, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through those two loops. This is my first single crochet on round one. And I want you to place this stitch marker into the first stitch in every round because we're gonna work in spiral. That means we're not gonna slip stitch at the end of the round and we're not gonna chain one to start new round. We're just gonna keep on going. That's why the stitch marker is very important. Okay, we need eight single crochet into this ring total. So now I have one single crochet. So I insert the hook into the same ring space, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a single crochet. Now I have two. Repeat that into the same ring space. Now I have three. Four. Five, oops, six, seven, and eight. All right, now I have eight single crochet. I gonna pull this short tail tight to close up this hole. Just pull it like that, pull it tight. All right, at the end of round one here, I have eight stitches and for round two we're gonna make two single crochet into each stitch around so remove the stitch marker first and then insert the hook into that stitch which is the first stitch right here a little tight and then make a single crochet the first stitch is a little tight and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one more single crochet into the same stitch. And 
and this two single crochet into the next stitch right here and then two single crochet into the next stitch And then two single crochet into the next. We're gonna make two single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round two and I have a total of 16 stitches around and for round three we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase in this round so remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then single crochet into next stitch and then single crochet into the next stitch, single crochet into the next stitch. All right, I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around, and I will be back when I'm at the end of round three. I'm at the end of round three, and I have the same 16 stitches around. And for round four, we're gonna make two single crochet into each stitch around. Remove the stitch marker first. And then make a single crochet into the first stitch there. And then place the stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one more single crochet into the same stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. And then two single crochet into the next stitch. And two single crochet into the next stitch. All right, keep making two single crochet into each stitch around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round four. I'm at the end of round four and I have a total of 32 stitches around and for round five we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. So remove the stitch marker first and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around. No increase on this round. I'm at the end of round five. I have the same 32 stitches around. For round six, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. No increase. Remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker into the first stitch there. And then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round six and I have the same. 32 stitches around and for round seven we're gonna make one single crochet into the first stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna repeat that around it's like one two one two one two okay so first remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make two single crochet into the next stitch And 
and then we're gonna repeat that we're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch and repeat that one single crochet into the next stitch and two single crochet into the next repeat that one single crochet into the next two single crochet into the next okay and next you're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch and then two single crochet into the next stitch repeat that around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round seven I'm at the end of round seven and I have a total of 48 stitches around and for round eight we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase on this round remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 8 and I have the same 48 stitches around and for round 9 we're gonna make two single crochet into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch around I just wanna increase one stitch because I wanna have an odd number of these stitches okay so make two single crochet into the first stitch now I have one and then one more into the same stitch like that and then make one single crochet into the next stitch and then one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 9 here and I have a total of 49 stitches around and for round 10 we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around no increase so remove the stitch marker first make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 10 I have the same 49 stitches around make sure you have an odd number okay because the body pattern we need an odd number of these stitches so remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then we're gonna make a single crochet spice stitch into the next stitch so for a spice stitch we're gonna make one row below okay usually normal single crochet we go into this top stitch right the v-shape there and then I want you to move your hook down one row below to make a single crochet spice stitch so next stitch here but I move my hook down one row below I insert my hook there and then make a single crochet spice stitch like that and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch the normal single crochet and then we're gonna make a spice stitch one row below so the normal single crochet is this top one right and then we want to make a spice stitch one row below so we're gonna move the hook down one row below and then insert the hook there okay and then we're gonna repeat that around we're gonna make a normal single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna make a spice stitch into the next stitch right here 
and then repeat that no more single crochet into the next and then spice stitch into the next no more single crochet into the next and then spice stitch into the next all right here's what it looks like so far so next you're gonna make a normal single crochet into the next stitch and then you're gonna make a spice stitch into the next stitch yeah one row below okay and then repeat that normal single crochet and then spice stitch one row below all right let's show you a couple more times so next stitch here normal single crochet and then you're gonna make a spice stitch one row below here normal single crochet spice stitch one row below oops sorry like that very easy all right you're gonna keep repeating that around and i will be back when i'm at the end of round 11. I'm at the end of round 11 here I end with a normal single crochet okay so for round 11 we start with normal single crochet and then end with normal single crochet all right and then for round 12 oh I forget to tell you I have the same amount of the stitches which is 49 stitches because we not increase or decrease all right round 12 remove the stitch marker and then we're gonna start the round with a spice stitch so the first stitch here but one row below there the spice stitch so we start with spice stitch and then place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then we're gonna make a normal single crochet into the next stitch and then we're gonna make a spice stitch into the next stitch here And then we're gonna repeat that around normal single crochet and then spice stitch here one row below all right normal single crochet into the next spice stitch one row below into the next normal single crochet into the next a spice stitch one row below into the next Alright, normal single crochet into the next, a spice stitch, one row below into the next. Here's what it looks like so far. So, you're just gonna keep repeating this. You're gonna make a normal single crochet into the next stitch, and then make a spice stitch, one row below into the next. Normal single crochet into the next, a spice stitch, one row below into the next like that repeat that around i'm at the end of round 12 here and i have the same 49 stitches around because we not increase or decrease so for round 12 we start with a spice stitch and then we end with spice stitch okay so i gonna repeat round 11 and round 12 10 more times and I will have a total of 32 rounds, start count from round one. All right, I'm gonna show you one more repeat, which is round 13 and round 14. For round 13, we're gonna repeat round 11. Remove the stitch marker, and then make normal single crochet into the first stitch, and then place the stitch marker into the first stitch and then make a spice stitch into the next make a normal single crochet into the next spice stitch into the next normal single crochet into the next oops and then spice stitch into the next normal single crochet into the next spice stitch into the next just repeat round 11 
All right. So you're going to make a normal single crochet into the next stitch and then spice stitch into the next and then repeat that around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round 13. I'm at the end of round 13 and I have the same 49 stitches around. See? We start with normal single crochet. We end with single crochet. All right. So, for round 14, we're going to repeat round 12. We're going to start with um, spice stitch. So, remove the stitch marker first and then make spice stitch into the first stitch. And then place this stitch marker into the first stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. Spice stitch into the next. Single crochet into the next. Spice stitch into the next. Single crochet into the next. Spice stitch into the next. All right, you're gonna keep repeating this. You're gonna make a normal single crochet into the next stitch and then spice stitch into the next. Repeat that around. And I will be back when I'm at the end of round 14. I'm at the end of round 14 and I have the same 49 stitches around. See, we start with spice stitch and then we end with spice stitch. All right, so. I'm gonna keep repeating round 11 and round 12 nine more times and I will have 32 rounds total start out from round one okay and I will be back good luck and take your time I'm at the end of round 32 here here's what it look like and then for round 33 we're gonna make single crochet the first two stitches together to decrease so I remove the stitch marker and then I insert the hook into the first stitch yarn over pull up a loop and then insert the hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop now I have three loops on my hook I'm gonna yarn over hook and then pull through all the loops on the hook that is how we make uh, single crochet two stitches together okay and then I'm gonna place this stitch marker into that stitch and then we're gonna make one single crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch around I just wanna decrease one stitch because I wanna have an even number of stitches All right, I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch around and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 33. I'm at the end of round 33 here and I have a total of 48 stitches around. And then for round 34, I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into each stitch around. Place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then keep making one single crochet into each stitch around. No increase or decrease. I'm at the end of round 34 here and I have the same 48 stitches around and for round 35 I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into each stitch around place this stitch marker into the first stitch and then keep making one single crochet into each stitch around I'm at the end of round 35 here and I have the same 48 stitches around and for round 36 we're gonna start make the holes for the drawstring strap okay so first remove the stitch marker 
and then chain one and skip the next stitch which is the first stitch that we just remove the stitch marker and then make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches so I chain one here I skip the next stitch insert the hook into the next and make a single crochet and this chain one count as one chain space so I want you to place this stitch marker into the first chain one space there. So we need eight single crochet total. So now I have one single crochet and then I insert the hook into the next stitch and make a single crochet. Now I have two single crochet into the next. Now I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. After I have eight single crochet, I'm gonna chain one and then skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches. So I chain one, I skip the next, insert the hook into the next and make single crochet. Here's one, two, three, and four. And then chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, and four. Chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then chain one. Skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches. One, two, three, four. And then chain one, skip the next stitch and then make one single crochet into each of next four stitches, which is the last four stitches. So here's one, two, three, and four. And here's what it looks like at the end of round 36. And I have the same, 48 stitches around, including the chain one spaces as well. All right, and for round 37, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch and then into each chain one space around. So first, remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into that first chain one space. Just insert into that chain one space. Okay, insert in there and make the first single crochet there. And then place this stitch marker into the first stitch. And then make one single crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet into each stitch. And now I reach the chain one space, I gonna make a single crochet into that chain one space. Just insert the hook into that chain one space and make a normal single crochet. And then continue make single crochet into each stitch. All right, you're gonna keep doing this. Make a single crochet into each stitch and then into each space around 
and I will be back when I'm at the end of round 37. I'm at the end of round 37 and I have the same 48 stitches around. For round 38, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. So remove the stitch marker first and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch there and then place this stitch marker back in into the first stitch and then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 38 and I have the same 48 stitches around and for round 39 I'm gonna make one single crochet into each stitch around. This is gonna be the final round. So I'm gonna remove the stitch marker and then make the first single crochet into the first stitch and then place this stitch marker into the first stitch there and then make one single crochet into each stitch around. I'm at the end of round 39 here and I'm just gonna cut a yarn and weave the end. Leave a little bit of tail just enough to weave in the end. I cut the yarn and then pull the yarn out and then I bring my yarn needle, insert the tail into my yarn needle and then I'm gonna skip the marker stitch and then insert my needle into the next stitch there and bring it in and then I'm just gonna remove the stitch marker and now I'm gonna insert my needle back into the last single crochet on round 39 here where the tail come from right at the middle there the V shape and then bring it in inside the bag like that this is how I like to end my uh, crochet project okay and you can use any method you prefer but I prefer this method because it's give me very nice edge here. You can't even tell where is the end. Well, you can tell a little bit, not that much. And then I'm just gonna hide the tail inside the bag and I will do that later. And next, we're gonna make the drawstring strap. Okay, we will make our shoulder strap by making our desired length times two. For example, I want my strap to be about 30 inches long, so I need to make the chain reach about 60 inches long. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna make slip knot and then I'm gonna make the chain until I have about 60 inches long. Okay, now I have my drawstring strap reach about 60 inches long and then I'm gonna make a slip stitch into the second chain from the hook and then into each chain across. So I skip the first chain, insert the hook into the next chain there. But I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain and I recommend it do this method, okay? So after I insert the hook there, I yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. This is my first slip stitch. And then I'm gonna insert my hook into the next stitch, right into that little bump on the back of the chain. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. Okay, I'm gonna keep making a slip stitch into each chain across. And if you like to insert into the normal chain, the V shape here, you can do that as well. And like I said, I recommend do this method. 
put into the little bum on the back of the chain I think it's give more kind of like uh, cleaner look but yeah <laughs> whichever method you prefer I'm gonna keep making a slip stitch into each chain across and I will be back when I'm at the end here okay I slip stitch till the end here and then next I just gonna cut the yarn I'm gonna leave a little bit of tail make sure that you have tail enough to sew the end together and then after that I pull the yarn out like that and then I will show you how to insert this drawstring strap into the bag okay to insert the drawstring strap I want you to find the eight single crochet stitches in between the hole so it's half on the front and then half one on the back okay so insert into that hole so this is the first hole that we made which is the end here as well all right so I'm gonna insert my strap in there and then I will go on the right side and then I'm gonna insert into the next hole from the inside out like that and then insert into the next hole here from the outside in <laughs> like that and then insert the next hole here from the inside out now insert from the outside in so this is another eight single crochet stitches be in between the hole okay just insert there so this will be where is the strap come up like that you'll stay in a minute <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna leave it a little bit there I'm not gonna bring it through all the way so I'm gonna insert into the next hole here And then insert into the next hole here and then insert in the next hole there the last hole all right see we have the eight single crochet stitches in between the hole on this side and then the eight single crochet stitches in between the hole on this side it's gonna be the front side and on the back side and it'll look like this let me show you it'll look like this all right so next we just need to sew this end together but before we sew I want to adjust the strap a little bit make sure it's nice and not like a twist it okay let's start so I gonna use the tail that we left earlier to sew and then I use my yarn needle to sew so I insert the tail into my yarn needle there and then start to sew start sew sorry <laughs> and then we're gonna sew the end together and I try to sew as nice as possible so I gonna insert my needle into the other end there into those V shape there sorry right there and then bring it out and then I gonna come back on this strap insert into the middle part of the V shape there where the tail come from and then bring it out like that and you can use any method you prefer but yes I just try to make as smooth and nice as possible see I just create another V shape it's not perfect but it's pretty nice 
and then I gonna insert around there and then right at the middle there bring it up and then insert on the other end here go to both loop there like that oops right there bring it up like that and then come to this end and then insert into that V shape right at the middle there bring it up like that and then I gonna adjust it a little bit and you just need to keep hiding the ends and make sure it's stick here and then you trim the tail okay I gonna do that later and I'm pretty sure you know how to do that so now we have our uh, shoulder strap beautiful and then after I weave the end I want this end kind of like high inside the back so I just gonna adjust it put it inside <laughs> right here see try to put it in here so nobody see And I also gonna put my logo tag in here as well to make it even more beautiful. And I ordered this logo tag from Etsy. I gonna put the link to the shop that I ordered this from in description below, okay? If you wanna know. And that's it. Just whip all the end and you're done. Congratulations. I hope you enjoy making this cute little bag. If you did, please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends. And I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just tag me on Facebook or Instagram at Addict. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye-bye.